Hi everyone, thanks for joining me in this video. I'm Paul from Robodeck Designer. This is the second part of the series of adding a deck to the Robodeck Designer website um, behind the scenes. The, the first video was all about making a 3D model using CAD and you can find the link to this video on the Robodeck Designer website. So this video here is all about taking those 3D designs and creating some programming code from them and eventually putting it onto the Robo Deck Designer website. With the design of the deck sorted out, I separate the programming code into two different parts. I have the programming code for the shape of the deck, that's all the black lines for the shape of the deck, um, and also a separate part, I separate the programming code for the, the text on the drawing, the dimensions, the title block, the um, little specific details that go with the drawing and any notes as well. So I find by separating these two different parts it makes it so much easier. With the shape of the deck this is actually quite a tedious procedure just getting the programming code sorted out but it does get, it, it takes time but eventually I do end up with some programming code. I've got a few special tricks up my sleeve which helps me create the code. And with the, the rest of the programming code for the the text, the dimensions, etc., um, title block, and that. So I use an existing setup and actually just modify the setup from this and adjust it to this new deck which I'm actually designing. So there's a bit of fiddling around, uh, moving text, moving dimensions, um, moving the details, so things don't clash. Um, it takes a few goes, but it gets there. Well, it's been an effort, but the programming code now is all done. It's time to put things to the test. So I'm just going to test out all this programming code and just find out if it works or not and where the mistakes are and what needs sorting out so yeah. For me to check the drawings I use a special administration website that I set up. If I go through the Robodeck Designer every time just to check one different aspect of a drawing going through changing all the the sizes and the heights and the handrails and something like that it's just too time consuming so I set up a special website only for myself to use where I test all the drawings and I'm just about to give this a go now. So with everything loaded up I've um, put this through the maintenance website and it fails. Um, not a surprise at all. 90% um, of the time or even more than that maybe 99% of the time when you do some programming code that quite often there's something wrong with it. So there's obviously something wrong in here so it's just a matter of going through and finding out what needs attention. Okay, so I've just looked at the, um, the programming code there. Um, the first problem is easy to spot, there's a missing file there. So I've actually put that in place and tried a few other things. There's a few other errors that are causing things not to load, but now it's partially loaded. Um, the text, the dimensions, uh, specific details are there, but the deck itself, um, no, it's not there. So yeah, it just needs a bit more looking at. I've also had a lot of problems getting the handrail image in the top left hand corner to load properly. This was caused by a few errors, completely unrelated, but um, now it's loading and yeah, it's getting there, yeah. Okay, so now I've got the first drawing lo loaded and it looks okay. Um, I can't seem to find any problems with it, so it's now time to check all the other drawings, but before I need to do it, I just need to upload a lot of files. Now for me, uploading files, um, it's uh, not 100% reliable and very frustrating, particularly I've got large numbers of files, so I end up zipping them up and uploading the files that way, but even so, um, today's been a bad day uploading files, so yeah, it's just persistence, we'll get through this one. Some of the smaller files aren't actually zipped up but are uploaded to the website but I've had a problem where sometimes the files only get partially uploaded where like maybe three quarters or 90% of the files uploaded and a little bit at the end's not there which just ruins everything so I have a special PHP script which goes through and just check that the end tag on each PHP script is actually there so all the PHP scripts always end with the same bit of programming code so that's just one way that I use just to improve reliability of the scripts uploaded to the website. Okay you might wonder now what am I doing in the bush um, I've just been checking the 3D design 
um, everything is just about all complete the programming code and in the two different sections the, um, the actual drawings themselves and also the text and dimensions and leaders and I've just noticed just at the last minute something's not right the bracing there on some of the decks should be 100 by 100 rather than 100 by 75 so sometimes it just gets so frustrating I'm just head out for a bush walk and I'm just very fortunate there's one at the end of our street. Hi so now it's the 23rd of February so it's 10 weeks out since I started creating a new deck for the Rainbow Deck Design website and it's finally finished um, I'm just waiting two things one is actually the other decks just got a few very minor things which is just kind of sort out which is holding things up and the other thing is that I'll be uploading it to the website at a time when it's quiet so the website seems to be the quietest early in the morning so I'll be going ahead and doing this probably tomorrow morning um, so yeah thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and yeah we'll see you in the next video anyway thanks